The United Nations Commission for Human Rights says ethnic cleansing is taking place in parts of South Sudan and that the international community has an obligation to stop it. As we prepared for this presentation, the UN announced a crisis in South Sudan related to the effectiveness of peacekeeping operations. Peacekeeping troops have been unable to prevent sexual abuse and exploitation of locals and were ineffective at executing UN mission mandates. Peacekeeping troops are often from countries with the lowest capacity to train them. They are being sent into nearly impossible situations. Even when there is a peace agreement, the situation is incredibly fragile. Oftentimes, the troop contributing countries have capacity gaps that need to be filled by donor countries to support the UN mandate in a timely fashion. That's where the Political Military Bureau peacekeeping support programs come in with hundreds of millions of dollars each year. The goal is to make peacekeepers as trained and equipped to handle the challenges that follow. There are 16 current peacekeeping operations. In the case of South Sudan alone, there are 123 distinct contributing entities, illustrating the complexity of coordination. We began by talking with experts in government, industry, and academia about the measurement of effectiveness in peacekeeping. We realized that there's not one definition, but a number of metrics that define effectiveness. But evaluating programs according to these metrics require actually having data on them. We developed a secure web-based form that allows users at different tiers of the peacekeeping process to input information whenever they learn something new, whether it's through a meeting or an informal interaction. When we spoke with people in embassies, we discovered that such a platform can also ease reporting requirements, providing a much needed incentive to bring these different layers into the process. As demands on government's budgets continue to increase, being able to show results and quantify return on investment will also become increasingly critical. The Political Military Bureau is getting ahead of the curve by approaching peacekeeping program evaluation with a data-driven approach.